What's up, Pokemon fans? I'm Professor K for the Pokemon Evolutionaries, and welcome back to more Chilling Rain. We've got two more booster boxes we're going to open here today. We've opened up a little bit of Chilling Rain already. So uh, most of you, if you've been watching, kind of already have an idea of what's in the set. So that being said, we're going to treat these a little bit differently than we have, especially the very first box that we slow rolled to show every single card that we possibly could. And we're just going to focus on the polls themselves. So this should be a much quicker opening than the uh, very first booster box we did, and probably even quicker than the um, build and battle kits that you guys saw as well. So, and if you didn't see those, you might want to go back and take a look, So, because we pulled some pretty darn good stuff out of those. Uh, some solid cards for sure. So if you missed them, go back and check them out. And in the meantime, if you guys are hyped and excited for Chilling Rain, be sure to hit that like button. Comment down below what your favorite card is from the set. What are you looking forward to? Anything and everything you can think of definitely helps us. And also, I'm curious to know what is the most popular card in our community. So definitely head down there and let us know in the comment section down below. All right, guys, we got 72 packs of Chilling Rain to get through here. So we're going to get started. And like I said, just kind of focus on the, um, the cards in the middle. You know, the reverse and the um, the rare. <laughs> so, there you have it. We've got Thwacky and Golurk. I don't know why I had the energy there. I thought I did a better job of pulling that out, but I guess I didn't. So, that's on me. I promise I'll get better as we go. I'm not typically someone that does it this fashion. Usually, I, I do the, uh, the pack trick and then, um, you know, I guess call it slow roll. We got Zera Aura V. That is actually a brand new card. Go figure. The second that I say that I'm, uh, <laughs> we've seen every card, all of a sudden we get a brand new one. Zera Aura V, cross fist for 100 damage. If one of your other rapid strike Pokemon uses an attack during your last turn, uh, this attack also does 160 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Okay. So a rapid strike Pokemon attacks, you bring this out. And it does 100 and then 160 to the bench for a lightning and two colorless energy. It's pretty busted. Not really. I mean, if double colorless was around, it'd be really busted. But no, it's it's kind of a little more balanced now. We don't have access to that. But for how long? How long will Pokemon really keep us away from DCE? I just feel like they're going to bring it back at some point. I feel like they almost have to. Beedrill and Gardevoir are the reverse and hollow out of this one. I guess I'll keep those over there. That way I can keep track of how many hits we get in total. All right, next up, it's an energy. And we have Celebi VMAX. Wow, okay, so we're starting off with a bang for some reason this time around. Dynatree Hill, but Celebi VMAX is the hit on this one. Curative Forest. Once during your turn, you may heal 20 damage from one of your grass Pokemon and max plant. Search your deck for up to two Pokemon, reveal them, put them into your hand, shuffle your deck, and deal 130 total damage. Kind of neat to see Celebi getting some, uh, some love. All right. That is a lightning energy. That gives us the Simeon and Tauros. That's actually a new one as well we haven't seen yet. Tauros, Raging Bull, and Takedown. Uh, Takedown does 30 damage to itself. Raging Bull also does 20 damage to itself. Uh, no, it does 20 damage to each damage counter on this Pokemon. I'm sorry. And it's now confused. So, as usual, this Pokemon seems to be the one, along with, like, Buffalaunch, the Bull Pokemon, really. Bull and uh, Buffalo. They seem to do better when they hurt themselves. All right. That is an energy card. I don't know why I didn't pull that sooner. Uh-oh. Cast from Reverse and Brawly Full Art. That is another brand new Full Art Trainer. We are on a Full Art Trainer kick on this stream here. Um, if you did not watch this on Twitch from start to finish, we have been on quite the kick of trainers. We just haven't gotten Melanie. So search your deck for up to three basic rapid strike Pokemon, put them onto your bench, and then shuffle your deck. So there's Brawly. We got Brawly, we got Avery, we got Flannery. What else do we have? I feel like we've gotten at least three or four 
full art trainers so far in this stream. Oh, we also have the Seeker Rare. Yeah, okay. That's it. That's the fourth one. Lots of trainers. So far, this box has been uh, pretty, pretty good. <laughs> Off to a real quick start. We got Rugged Helmet and Serena for our reverse and our rare. Next up. Just changed my Discord profile to the card you're going to pull in this opening. All right. Well, let's see if you're right. That is a, a bold statement there. Galarian Surfetched and a Sphere Tomb Reverse. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Galarian Articuno! We got the Tuxedo Mask of Pokemon with that uh, Reconstitute ability. That is uh, pretty solid. Good for, uh, like I said, decks that like to discard Pokemon for more damage specifically. So, one of my favorites from this set, for sure. Not just artwork, but also for that as well. Energy card. Squub it! Shove it! Squub it! Has returned in reverse form along with Galarian Weezing. I have not pulled a full art, Caitlin. No, I have not. Um, Flannery, Avery, and Brawly are the uh, full art trainers we pulled so far. Bennett and Venipede, reverse and rare. Probably going to be on a little bit of a cold streak here for a bit because that was a very hot start. I definitely think we're going to have a little bit of time in between. Steeny and Sawsbuck are the reverse and rare out of that one. What do we got already? We already have four. Four ultra rares and one hollow. That is a good sign for more ultras, potentially. Peony and Malamar. Out of that one. Probably should switch those two stacks around so I don't have to cross them over doing it that way. This is definitely quicker. We got Tauros, which is a hollow and a Zeb Strika. So I didn't think Tauros was a hollow. I thought it would be a regular rare, but sure enough, Tauros gets its first hollow in quite some time, I believe. I don't remember the last time I saw Tauros have an actual hollow. I know Pop Series had a Tauros hollow, I'm pretty sure. I feel like it did. Could be wrong, but been a bit since we've seen Tauros in that particular rarity. Usually gets the regular rare treatment. We got Kecleon Reverse and Slow King. Galarian Slow King V, our second one of those since we started the stream. Concoction and Word of Ruin. Like I said, that is one Slow King I would not want to meet after dark. That is a sinister looking Pokemon without a doubt. Yeah, definitely sick. Definitely sick in a good way. All right, we got Zangoose and Ghastly for our rare and reverse. We are almost halfway through the first box, so definitely moving all right, right along here. Rapid Strike, Urshifu, and a Weezing. Claw, Slashing Claw, and a Rapid Fisted Rush. I don't think we've seen Rapid Strike. I thought we saw a single strike before. Could be mistaken, but... Matter of fact, I think it might have actually been that one. It's just been a while since we've seen it. All right, Cub Fu and Wall Rain to end off the first half. So we are 25% of the way through this double box opening, currently sitting at five Ultra Rares and two Hollows. So seven out of uh, 18 packs had something in it, Hollow or better. And we're starting right off again with Sandaconda! Blue Grovile. There's your friend. <laughs> Back again. We just need the VMAX, right? Wall of Sand. Six Ultra Rares now. <laughs> Six Sandacondas. Gallade and Malamar. 
still am not comfortable with Rapid Strike Tentacles as an attack name. Still not comfortable with that at all. All right, we got Bennett and Gallade. Another Gallade. Man, lots of Gallade. It's a cool Pokemon, but lots of Gallade in reverse and regular form. I've gotten a common Caitlyn. Yes, I absolutely have. I pulled a, a few different Caitlyns answering your question there. And that's an energy. We got another Blaziken V and a Scroll of the Skies. So we're just going on a tear of Ultra Rares at this point. Um, this is probably going to be a box that does not have a Secret Rare at this rate, given the fact that we've already hit seven. There might be more Ultras, but I don't know if we're going to get a Secret out of it. Hollow Gardevoir and a Melanie. Reverse. So that's, I think, our first Hollow Gardevoir, if I'm not mistaken. Three Hollows. Seven. So we're looking at three to five more hits, potentially. Hollows or better. We got Serena and Lapis. Said I'm fully expecting some kind of a, of a lull here in a bit because we can't keep up this this pace out of this box, or maybe we can. Uh, reverse Avery and a Metagross V Max. Now that's at least one V Max. Yeah, every box I think has at least one V Max, so that's to be expected. So that is uh, that's number eight. <laughs> That is eight Ultras out of this box already, and we still have a lot left. I don't know if we can keep that pace going. I think we're gonna start, gonna start getting some hollows and some duds. Probably what's gonna happen. Ampharos and Quillfish. Hey, Messi, how's it going? We got a hollow, just like I thought. Crab Brawler and Galarian Rune Regis with Spiteful Slates. This is our first time seeing this hollow, so let's take a quick look at it here. If this Pokemon is in the active spot and it is damaged by an attack from your opponent's Pokemon VMAX, even if this Pokemon is not. Now, put damage counters on the attacking Pokemon equal to the damage done to this Pokemon. Then Energy Press 60, plus it does 20 more for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. We've seen Energy Press before, so that's nothing unique there. So that's... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. So, one to three more white code cards remain. Sawsbuck and Lediba. And I think we have about a quarter of a box left from the very first box. Tapu Fini Reverse. I'm going to put my foot in my mouth because there was a secret rare and it's welcoming lantern. We have struck gold once again. I just can't with this box. This box is off the charts. I don't understand it. <laughs> welcoming lantern. That is ultra rare. Number nine. And we still have seven packs left to go. We've hit the 13 mark. There's there's only possible only possibility is we get zero to two more white code cards. There's just no possibility of getting more than that. And they're probably gonna be hollows. If we hit 10, it's been a long time since I've hit a 10 ultra rare box. If we get to a 10 ultra rare box, that is going to be just crazy. We got Agron and Swirlix. I want to say it was like Vivid Voltage maybe that we might have hit a 10, a, a 10 hit box. That's the last time I can recall that actually happening. Or a 10 Ultra Rare box, I'm sorry. Uh, Doctor and Zip Striker. I had to stop and think about that for a second while showing you a water energy for no reason. <laughs> All right, see, there we go. Hollow, Rillaboom, 
and a Lapras. So that's 14. Yeah, that's 14 hits. So 14 is a good number that we normally would get. So it's probably going to be either 14 or 15. There's only three packs left. I would be surprised if we got more than 15, but 15 is a possibility. 15 is definitely a possibility. We're going to save that pack for last because that is a... Uh, that's another hit. It could be a hollow, but if it's something more than that, then that's going to be very exciting. See, there's another green code card. We got a whole lot of nothing. The Simeon and Spirit Tomb while I throw lightning energies at myself. This would be the final pack. 16! No. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 14... Y'all. Well, it's over there, but... Yeah. 16! Are you kidding me? 16 hits? All right. Reverses. Go Lurk and Squavit. First one, it's an Inteleon. Okay. So that's six Hollows and nine Ultras. No, six Hollows and nine Ultras is 15. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You guys. We got a 10-hit box. We got another Full Art Avery! <laughs> what in the world? A 10-hit box. I cannot believe it. All right. There's your hollows. Beedrill, Tauros, Gardevoir, Rune Regis, Rillaboom, and Inteleon. You got these. Galarian Articuno, Galarian Slowking, Sandaconda, Blaziken, and Zeraora. You got V Maxes, Celebi, and Metagross. You got Full Art Trainers, Brawly, and Avery. And then a Welcoming Lantern, Secret Rare. A 10-hit box, a 10-ultra box with six hollows. That's just unbelievably abnormal. I can't believe it. That's busted. That is absolutely busted. All right, well, that's just box number one. We got another box still. We're going to have to see how we end up. Box number two. <laughs> Craziness. I just, I don't know. How that's even possible is just beyond me. But that's amazing. That is amazing. Score Bunny and Serena. Still trying to get a couple of cards. Alternate arts are the biggest goal for me, honestly. Alternate arts are like everything. Alternate arts and Melanie, full art, just for the chat, more than anything. Those are like the the chase cards right now for this stream. <laughs> uh, we got Shadow Rider Calyrex. That is, I think, the first one of these that we have gotten in a regular V form. Shadow Mist and Astral Barrage. I know we got a full art earlier. But uh, first time getting the regular art. It's a nice looking card as well for DAG Incorporated illustrations. For the chat, aka Jables. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, we got Sandaconda, so we already got uh, Grovile's card. So, you know, that was a win. Shove it, squub it, and Sviper. Oh, whoops. I almost grabbed the stack of Ultras instead of the packs. Like... 
That's gonna work. Melanie! It must have hurt us. Melanie and Zangoose. But it wasn't the full art one. I caught my microphone there, so if that got picked up, I apologize for the, uh, the flicking sound in your ear, but there's a chance it also got muffled out by the filter. Alright, we have Porygon Z Hollow and a Gallade Reverse. Another Gallade Reverse, I should say. Oh, there goes over here. Gotta keep track of them hollows, too. So we have a 9 Ultra Box and a 10 Ultra Box. Hey, we got Peony as a full art as well. What's with the full art trainers, guys? These full art trainers are all over us today. That is another unique full art. There you go. Very nice. Very nice. Got a lot of Averys, but, you know. We'll take a Peony, too. Scroll of the Skies and Lediba for Reverse and Rare. Not Lediba. Wait a minute. Lediba's not a Rare? How'd that happen? Where did my pack trick go? Gallade. My goodness. I forgot to take the energy out. I'm not paying attention. Lediba's not a Rare. Excuse me? <laughs> Beefy, you are absolutely right. Who? TF gets this many full art trainers other than me today for some reason usually early boxes are not good to us and uh that's not been the case today it's actually been quite the opposite i thought you were looking for exclamation point unprofessional there panda <laughs> so close there you go all right <laughs> just had to give you a little grief since you were trying to mess with me first <laughs> Oh, man. Unprofessional dingus continues. Nothing new there. Frostlass and a Venipede Reverse. I think my energy cards are about to spill off of the table. There's such a messed up stack of them. Getting down to the wire here. Uh, energy there. Oh. Let's move that over. We got a Weezing and a Quillfish. Reverse. It's funny, the last box was like super fire from the beginning, right? And this one's just kind of been a little chill. Haha, <laughs> no pun intended there. Uh, speaking of chill, I guess it's not anymore. Peony and Celebi V. So our third ultra rare of the box is another Celebi. Few packs left on this side. No good there. Don't know why I put that down, but I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to say it was force of habit. Squavit! Shove it! Squavit is back again with a Golurk this time. Oh my gosh! Pyro Steve is at it again! Pyro! That's like 45 gifted subs from Pyro Steve today! Oh my goodness gracious. I've lost track of what I was doing. <laughs> Galarian, Servage, and Kecleon. Pyro Steve, thank you so, so much, dude. You are just throwing gifted subs. I have a feeling that Pyro might be... Let me see. Pyro might have moved up the list. In gifted subs, Pyro Steve is tied. Tied with Zumbla. They both have 145 gifted subs. <laughs> Darium's wife, he gets a sub. That's hilarious. We got the full art onion. So that's kind of neat. Celebi is actually a beautiful full art. I love this color combination right here. Look at this. Celebi V full art. How nice is this? This is beautiful. I love it. I love it. But yeah, you're absolutely right, Killer Man. Fourth place tied 
with Zumbla. <laughs> it ain't going to be long at this at this rate. It is not going to be long at all before Pyro Steve overtakes. Uh, we got gifted subs going out to the Mike Fantastic, King Fairy QC, Shadow Man, Venku, Darium's Wifey, Danger Brain, Dismisser, Adu, Sea Boogie, and Mateo Parker. And also to Brett 620, just to go ahead and solidify fourth place on the list. Pyro Steve, you absolute legend. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of these gifted subs. Uh, that is 300 and 31 unique subscribers 45 of which have come tonight courtesy of pyro steve another 10 from professor josh just absolute craziness of all of the sub love here today um scully pete is actually a new one poison sting and venishock so i figured i'd just mention that real quick but round of applause please yes round of applause for pyro steve and this incredible support for the community here uh, i i I am so grateful for you, man. I really am. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And everyone else is as well. You know the drill. Love and hype in the chat for Pyro Steve once again for being such a great guy. Um, we got Cinderace Hollow and a Zeb Strika Reverse. And that is the first half of box number two, complete with four Ultras and three Hollows. So seven out of 18 once again. My goodness. Celebi is going to be the star of your onion soup. <laughs> It's funny because honestly, that Celebi really highlights like how much of a fairy type Celebi really, you know, would be good as. <laughs> I mean, that really just makes it look like straight up fairy. Uh, Valkorona and Expedition Uniform are the uh, the rare and reverse out of that pack. You think Shrek would eat that Celebi? Probably. I mean, is there anything that Shrek wouldn't eat at this point? Doug Trio and Tapu Fini. Triple heads. Every case of booster boxes has a dud box. And I wonder if maybe this will be our dud box. Because we've done far too, excuse me, far too well so far. In comparison. <laughs> bump, bump. Hey, G-Baby Swag. Showing the love to Pyro Steve. And also with 60 bits on top of that. Cross Steve, clap, 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 clap. Pyro Steve, clap, 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 clap. That is absolutely right. Thank you very much, G-Baby Swag, for the uh, the 60 bits and um, also for showing love and appreciation for Pyro Steve. Um, there is a single strike Urshifu here, hollow, field crush, and fist of strife. That needs to go up here. Oh, Scotty wants to see a Kakuna? Okay. Let me see if I can find a Kakuna for Scotty. Um, that Grizzly Bear's son loves Kakuna. So Scotty gets to see a Kakuna. Matter of fact, I might even have more than one. I should have more than one at this point. I just haven't looked at them because I've not been looking at my bulk. Let's see. And we do like at least two. I thought I would have been able to find two fairly quickly. I don't want to disrupt the video too much, but no. Nope. All right. That's all I can do. There's a Kakuna for you, buddy. <laughs> You're welcome. Here, we even give you a closer look. Kakuna! Alright, next pack. Alright, we got a Metagross VMAX. That is our third Metagross VMAX. That's just kind of crazy. <laughs> Three Metagross VMAXs. Definitely... A common one. Zap Traction and Max Rush. That is one VMAX. We should get a, probably going to see one more VMAX. Every box so far has had two VMAXs, so I would not be surprised. Sandaconda! There you go, Groval. And Doctor. Another Sandaconda for the pile. Sleeves. Right side of the box is, uh, <laughs> is catching up. <laughs> Left side of the box seems to be uh, the, the quiet side, and right side is where it fires up. Old Cemetery and Spiritum. All right. We've got Passimian and Malamar.
We got Rapid Strike Urshifu. So we got both Urshifu Hollows out of this box, actually. That's kind of funny. How that worked out. Both the Water and the Dark type. I like how they did it, because before, you know, you just got the Fighting type. Now they're actually focusing on the typings they belong to. Gengar! Ah! It's our old pal Gengar! And I love this artwork! Oh my gosh, this is adorable. Look at Gengar! Look at him! Just look at him! I can get my focus to work. There we go. No! Come on, camera. Focus! Stop focusing on things that are in the distance! I can't stand it. I need a D DSLR camera so bad. There we go. Zamanek, thanks for the Prime sub! Welcome to the stream! Last gift. If this Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, search your deck for up to two cards, put them into your hand, and then shuffle your deck. Pain Burst! 10 damage plus 40 more for each damage counter on your opponent's active. Yeah, the focus is being very unprofessional. But Gengar is amazing. I love Gengar. Used to be the mascot of this channel when we first started. Right before X and Y came out, that's when I switched it to Greninja. Because even though I love Gengar, everyone and their brother, mother, sister, aunt, uncle was using Gengar as a mascot. And I wanted us to stand out a little bit more than that. Not to mention Greninja came into existence and I was like, ah, this is my new favorite Pokemon. So <laughs> that's how Gengar became my second favorite Pokemon. Curlia and Weezing are the rare and reverse for that one. We're up to six hollows. Uh, we got six hollows out of the last box too and still managed to get 10 ultras. So maybe Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX, that gives us seven Ultra rares, maybe, maybe we'll we have a shot at a repeat here. Uh, we did pull a Shadow Rider Calyrex earlier, I do believe, or maybe it was an Ice Rider Calyrex V Max. Yeah, well, never mind, it was an Ice Rider. So this is actually our first Shadow Rider Calyrex V Max. Underworld Door. Once during your turn, you may attach a Psychic Energy from your hand to one of your bench Psychic Pokemon. If you attached Energy to a Pokemon in this way. Draw two cards, max Geist, 10 damage, plus 30 more for each Psychic Energy attached to all of your Pokemon. So there's Shadow Rider, Calyrex. We managed to pull both. So every version of Calyrex has been pulled, I do believe. Huh? What? Pyro Steve, oh, extended their tier one sub. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, whoa, whoa. Until through May? Did you just sub for a whole year? I think Pyro Steve just subbed for an entire year. Am I reading that correctly? Is that what just happened? I've never seen anybody do that before. I've never seen that alert before. That's an entire year sub. I didn't even know you could do that. I had no idea you could do that. Pyro just said, you know what? Here's a year. Dude, that is super epic. I did not know that that was a possibility. A year's worth of subs. Pyro, I gotta be honest with you, man. I I don't have words to thank you enough for the support that you're throwing at us recently, man. That is just incredible of you. A full year. Yes, indeed. Pyro Steve, the sub legend. That's exactly what this is. That's exactly who this is. Give that man a sword. You know what? I, 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 I tend to agree with you. I tend to agree with you at this point. You know what? Pyro Steve, the amount of support you've been giving at this channel right now, I agree. I think you deserve the green sword. Green sword. Sword. Why did I say sword with the W? That's like pronouncing the W in whip like Stewie. Coo whip. <laughs> Pyro Steve, you have been knighted with the sword of modship. 
Definitely well deserved. Ice Rider Calyrex V. There's another Calyrex to add to the collection of this one. That is just, yeah. Well, well, well deserved sword right there, man. Thank you so much. That gives us uh, eight Ultras with three packs left to go. So we've got eight, nine, and ten. Eight, nine, and ten with three packs to go. Um, yes, please do so, Horror Panda, if, uh, if you don't mind. Yes, absolutely, I agree. Scroll, scroll of Piercing and Viper for that one. Yeah, definitely, definitely earned that one. My goodness. I mean, you're very, very new to the channel as far as I know. Um, definitely become super active with this recently, but uh, definitely well-deserved. So thank you for everything. Uh, Zarud Hollow. We're not going to do it. Nope. We're not going to do it. we got one pack left. I don't think we're going to be able to get to the ninth Ultra Rare. It'd be very surprising because we have eight here. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This is 15. Obviously, we've proven 16 hits as a possibility, but uh, pretty unlikely. Zarud Hollow for that one, though. Last pack of the video, guys. Also, for those of you watching on YouTube, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on here on Twitch, so you should be watching on Twitch, too. <laughs> and nope, it's it's a dud. Kecleon and Thwacky. So this one ended up with eight. So we got eight, nine, and ten out of three boxes. We uh, kept it pretty consistent-wise. An average of nine total Ultras uh, out of these booster boxes, which is pretty solid. I mean, if you count two of the VMAXs, you know, as Ultras, if you take out the VMAXs, the, the two that we get out of every box, then it's actually more like, you know, eight, seven, and six. Yeah, had to make sure my math was right. So, Shadow Rider Calyrex, Metagross VMAX, Ice Rider Calyrex, Celebi V, Shadow Rider Calyrex, got three Calyrex out of this box, Sandaconda V, Celebi V, Full Art, and Peony, 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 wait, no, I'm not even sure, Peony, uh, is our last Full Art, so there you go, did not get to see it, distracted because I'm getting ready for a class this coming week, oh, no worries, man, hey, you definitely do have it, so thank you for all that you do and all that you have done. Um, so overall, let's see here, four, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight and ten, eighteen, eighteen. Aw, oh, shuckle. Aw, oh, shuckle. <laughs> thank you, G-Baby, for the 20 bits. Uh, eighteen total ultra rares out of two boxes. So half of a box was just straight up ultras. Uh, 25% of the box. 25% of a box, yeah. 25% of the two boxes. My gosh, I cannot add or talk or whatever. I've lost it at this point. I've opened up a lot of Chilling Rain packs here in this stream, so it's it's needless to say that, uh, yeah, I'm a little on the uh, burnout side, I think. Um, that's a lot. That is a lot of Ultra Rares. I'm very, very surprised that we did that well. I did not expect this set to be quite that generous, but... Here we are! So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe for more TCG content, and we hope to see you guys in the next one. Uh, as I said, let me know what card you're looking forward to the most and what card is your favorite. Um, definitely excited to see what your guys' opinions are of this set and what it is you're really chasing down. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you all in the next one. Take care and have a great day.